Alright, so this is the snow world. Um, I think this is the fourth world of this game. I'm, I, I've been playing this at my own pace. Because, whoa. Whoa, this is just like an actual desolate city. This looks like... A, like... Something from a war game. I don't know what to say. I don't know. <laughs> but this does look like a place that... I don't know, war took place? A lot of destruction. Uh, but I am playing this game at my own pace because... I, I really just don't have time to be playing it 24-7. So, I'll beat this game whenever I can. I already know I'm on the fourth world, I'm pretty sure, so I'm pretty sure I'm already halfway through. I do kind of want to start another series at the same time, at because I want to start playing that game already. It's Resident Evil 3. I want to just start doing a lot of Resident Evil content because I like that game. Same with Pokemon. I did try to do Pokemon before, uh, but I'm trying to get some stuff set up for Pokemon. Like, I'm trying to get a capture card for my DS, and I'm trying to get some more Pokemon games to play. But uh, I already know that I'm going to be starting uh, uh, Resident Evil stuff on my channel. So expect Resident Evil 3 because that's one of my, that's like my favorite Resident Evil games of all time, Resident Evil 3. Uh, and I have the game, and I'm, I'm planning on playing it because I, I really love that game and I want to start a Let's Play on it, so expect it. That works. Um, also, I think I said in the previous video, I'm just going to do uh, the Treasure Road stuff on my own time too as well. Uh, I'm going to show some Treasure Road stuff on, on video. Just not all of them. Because some of them are just reoccurring missions, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I'll show like ones that I haven't shown off yet. Or like what stuff, stuff I think is... Cool, like the mouthful abilities or some cool copy abilities so who knows we'll just cross that bridge when we get there okay this this has to imply like this town went into war or something like this because we have like we have poppy bros juniors who throw bombs behind cover we have a bunch of hunter abilities here where we get guns like I feel like it's just implying that this whole area went to war and like, this whole town got destroyed because of it. I don't know. I'm probably just overthinking it and trying to sound like a Kirby Lord, Lorist enthusiast. I don't know what they're called. But, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm just putting two and two together at this point. Like, there's even a fire dude over there. Look. Nice. Okay. That was kind of challenging, I guess. So we have to time the shot at the same time. Or not, because I have the ability where it just shoots multiple. Nice. After playing this game, and or like playing through levels and stuff, uh, it really makes me wish for either a Amazing Mirror remake or remaster for the Switch or just an actual open world Kirby game because we haven't had an actual open world Kirby game since Amazing Mirror and that's one of my favorite Kirby games ever because uh, I, I used to play that all the time on my Game Boy so I, I would really like them to remaster either Amazing Mirror or make an actual open world game because this isn't tech this technically isn't an open world game it's more of a linear sandbox i'm pretty sure i've discussed this before this is technically a linear sandbox game where you go through multiple areas in a linear f uh fashion so like yeah it looks open world but like we just go section to section with the warp star in a sandbox area and then we go through a door and then we get the waddle so it's more of a linear adventure for Kirby in a 3D area. And people thought this would be an open world Kirby game, but it really isn't. So, and I'm not saying that makes it bad. I'm just saying it'd be cool to have an open world Kirby game like Amazing Mirror. And if they were to make remake Amazing Mirror for the Switch, it'd be even like more fun because Amazing Mirror was a multiplayer game. And back then you had to get like four Game Boys and four copies of the game in order to play with other people. So they would play as the other Kirby's. 
So it was, it was a four-player game, open world, and like you and your friends could travel in any direction you want and open up different paths for the other Kirby's. It, it was really fun. Of course, I didn't have friends who played Amazing Mirror like I did, because uh, I feel like nobody wanted to play Kirby back then. <laughs> um, but you know, I played Amazing Mirror as much as I could because it was just an actual fun game. That's not a Waddle Dee. Oh, we fit perfectly in here. Oh no, okay, yeah, we do. We do get a Waddle Dee, but... We needed the stairs in order to get to him. Nice, all hidden Waddle Dees. Yeah, so I already made it to the end of the stage because these stages are actually kind of short. But I don't know how I was able to miss all three secret Waddle Dees. Because I, I missed a snow, I guess I missed a snow sculpture, whatever. Find the side alley, another one of those. Oh, well, that's cool. A Gormando pop figure. That's not a pop figure, I'm an idiot. Yeah, so this this snow area is like a town, like a like a, a big town, and then the very first area is a city. So it's kind of cool, I guess. And look at that—you got like a little dude sleeping on the chair because he's waiting for the his thing to go, his train to come. He's waiting, so he fell asleep. It's just like an actual subway. N never been on one because you know, never lived in a big enough town or city to ride on a subway. Uh, the closest thing I guess I would say is a bus i i could say i've ridden road rid road and i rode on a bus and all i'm saying is that it's close to a subway kinda they both suck but hey what can you get for cheap public transportation dude okay this has to be a thing where like this the the whole theme has to be like war because now i'm thinking about it like that enemy that i just passed is the nuke ability where if he falls over, he makes a big explosion. Like, this this, this whole place has to be, like, war-torn or something like that. Like, this whole city or town, whatever, must have been, like, a cataclysmic war event or whatever it's called. Like, a giant war took place here. People had to take place in the subway to, to seek shelter. You had people with guns, like, the military with guns, whatever military that attacked. And then you have nukes in here, bombs in here. It's like, at this point... Like, right? It has to, like, there's no way I'm not just a, a crazy theorist and going crazy, right? Or making random stuff up. Like, you would think that'd be the case with all the stuff in this whole section of the world. I don't know. I'm, I probably just sound crazy right now and I sound stupid, but, you know. Nice. I, I again, I've never been a big fan of traveling. I don't like road trips. I don't like air ri like airplane rides, even though I've been on them. I don't like like any of that. So, but it is a fun experience to go traveling. It is. It's just very exhausting and very tedious. That's for sure. But through all the different airports I've been through, through all the different like places I've been. I'd like to say that I've traveled a lot and I've seen a lot of things. Like I can say I've been around the world and back technically because I moved as a kid a lot due to uh, military reasons. So as a kid I moved around a lot because my family was military. So we got to see a lot of places, a lot of different places. I think before now, me mo living on my own, when I was still living with my family, I think we moved like, let's see, we moved twice in Hawaii. Then we moved from Hawaii and then 
There we moved. So I think I moved like close to maybe 10 times actually. If I'm not mistaken. Like we moved a good good amount of times. And I've been through a lot of different schooling. And I'd like to say that because of that, I've met a lot of cool people. Seen a lot of cool things, met a lot of different people. Had a lot of different experiences. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. I guess it just made me want to talk about it because of the stage we're on. It's just public transport and all that, going to multiple places, different places. I don't know. Weird, weird way to weird way to connect it. Yeah. But I don't know. It's it's just how my brain works. You know, random stuff makes me think of other things, and it makes me go on a long tangent. So, yeah. Weird weird little topic to talk about on a Kirby game. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to end it here because I already did two stages and it looks like we only have two more left until the boss. So I think every world has only four stages and then a boss level, which is a pretty good way to pace it. I guess pretty good way for a Kirby game anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it here and the next video will go to the next two stages. So, yeah. <laughs>